Hey guys, this is Xavier with Gotta Be Mobile. I'm here with Joe Greenstein at the Mobilize 09 conference. And we've been talking a little bit about iPhone apps and touch computing. And Joe, Joe is a, the co-founder of a really cool website called Flickster.com. And he's developed some apps that are very, very popular, including uh, one for the iPhone. And we got to talking about touch computing. And what do you think about touch computing as it relates to searching for movies? Sure. I mean, I think... As much as the device in your pocket has been, you know, sort of the, the computing device in your pocket has been a revolution in smartphones in the last couple of years, and especially with the iPhone, the touch interface is just an absolutely huge revolution in how people interact with data services. You know, and as we've looked at sort of the future of the things that we do, just the ability to, to have, like, touch navigation be your primary interface to a world of data that you're interacting with like completely changes your experience from sort of a keyboard you know search you know scan and click kind of uh interaction to people just doing you know five ten times as much discovery of new things and and sort of browsing through lists and and really engaging with content and so um, you know, it's been it's been really neat in making us think. We're actually starting to incorporate a lot of the principles that we've learned building for touch screens on mobile into how to build a better experience on the on the PC and on the web. I had mentioned to you that I fully expect to see a dozens of touch screen notebooks and tablet PCs in the coming months when uh, Windows 7 launches. Are you going to change your website to accommodate those users? Uh, we, we will absolutely build a custom experience for those devices. We're really excited about that, um, and we're really excited about working with some partners there. Um, so, yeah, I mean, uh, I think what you'll see is people building things that feel more like, like, I think the touch interface defines the device as much as the size of the screen, the fact it's in your pocket, and I think, you know, once people make that adjustment, you're going to see people building things that act more like iPhone applications for a touch PC than they do, uh, you know, websites. I mean, I can't imagine using a touch screen even on a big device. Right? Imagine you're browsing the New York Times and you want to click a text link. It's just like it's super annoying, right? You want like you want a buttony interface where you select a cell and it scrolls across and a new screen of information. Like you imagine a page refresh on a touch device? No, it should like it should be animated. It should like scroll across. It should act like the you know a, an iPhone or an Android application does now. Um, I think we're going to see kind of a revolution in how people build software for these kinds of devices. So tell us briefly about your application on the iPhone. I understand you have it on other platforms, but the iPhone application is by far your, your most popular I believe uh, what does it do and what share what share of the uh, of your users are using iPhones right now sure I'll, uh, I'll I'll show it to you just for a second so you can see what we're talking about this is uh, Flickster on the iPhone you're looking at the current top box office movies and you can see what I mean how touch driven it is you're just scrolling through uh, you know the top movies and then when I get interested in something let's say I want to learn about transformers you just you click the whole cell and it scrolls right across and you get this really great, super readable screen. Um, you know, it's just a really, uh, you know, really easy interface for browsing. And you've got your, you know, you can add it to Netflix. You can watch the trailer. You can view photos. If you go into photos, like watch the interaction with photos, right? Here's photos for Transformers. And I just, like that, right? Scroll through them. Now, right. do you get more people doing um, more stuff on the phone than on, 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 a, on a PC? So, you know, the well, we're still bigger on the PC web than we are on the phone. We're over 20 million unique users on our destination site and Facebook application and about uh, 6.4 million installs on the iPhone. Um, so, you know, but it's catching up rapidly and, and the usage is different. You know, we see a lot more browsing and discovery and, and people engaging with video and photos and that sort of thing on the device where it's right in your hand and you can sit there and just really, you know, manipulate it. Um, and so, you know, when I think about, you know, how, you know, here's showtimes, right? And here's theaters near me, my favorite theaters, right? And I want to click in and see, you know, the movies that are playing at any particular theater. You know, think about a PC interface and just how clunky and ugly it would be if these were all text links. Yeah, we haven't right? even uh, like how much we haven't typed a single letter. Exactly, before. right? Think about how you use a movie site on the web. Like you, you know, you go to you know Yahoo Movies and you pull out your keyboard and you type Transformers, right? Or you you type your zip code. Like you're basically you're shifting between the mouse and the keyboard and sort of this point and click kind of interface. 
And it's just it's a totally different paradigm on a on a touch screen. And I think one of the things we're discovering is people really love that paradigm. You know, I can't even I can't even use. I try to use a non touch screen phone now, and I'm like constantly touching the screen trying to understand why it isn't working. <laughs> you know, um, so uh, you know. Anyway, uh, absolutely. I think it changes the way people navigate. I think it changes you know what people use within the application. I think it's going to be really neat to see that on uh, bigger form factors.